Well, it's Saturday afternoon. We're going to take a little trip around Cheltenham and um, do some exploring. First stop's going to be the Triumph dealership down the end of my road. And we're going to pull out here, go through St. George's Gate, which is right here. Once we get out here, we're going to take a right on St. George's Road, right up to the traffic light. It's literally, I'm right on the corner. You'll notice the pizza place right just to my right right now. Um, it's literally right across the street from my flat. Uh, the saving grace is that they have really bad food, so it's not much of a threat to my, uh, my diet plant, thankfully. But uh, just on the left there immediately is the King's Arms pub, which is uh, just a great local pub. Uh, really nice people there. Really good, really good beer. Coming up on uh, on the roundabout. See if we can't get through this unscathed. One of the reasons I picked this place that that I'm living in is because it's so central to so many things. Uh, right here on the left is the train station, which I've absolutely fallen in love with British train service. Uh, not only is it frequent, fast, comfortable. It's it's very reasonably priced, I thought. The locals complain that it's too expensive. But uh, anyway, here on the right is the Triumph dealership itself, but I can't get there from here. So I've got to drive down the road a little bit, turn around, and come at it from the other direction. There's a lot of that. Um, at least in this area of England, I'm sure it's probably prevalent everywhere. But uh, they really, really control the traffic. Uh, and the flow and everything is pretty tightly. So we'll just pull in this quiet little side street and turn around. One of the things that I'm always considering whenever I'm pulling out into an intersection, over and over again, I'm repeating in my head, make sure you stay left, make sure you're in the left lane. Uh, I do not want to make that mistake on a busy road like this. Although it is actually easier when there is traffic around. Because when there's traffic around, there's enough contextual clues. You can see what everyone else is doing. And it's human nature to just kind of follow suit. I've got a German tour bus in front of me. But right here, this is the Triumph dealership. I'm going to go in and take a look at uh, the new 2012 Triumph Explorer. Very nice bike. Um, I wish I could figure out a way to afford it. It would be the most perfect motorcycle for over here. Not that this little BMW is bad. Um, next stop we're going to, or next next place we're going to be is Swindon Village. This is Swindon Village right now, and it's uh, just a little little hamlet outside of Cheltenham, and it's on our way to Bishop's Cleeve. One of the things that's curious, there's a speed limit of 30 miles an hour right here in the town of the village itself. But as soon as that ends, the locals just accelerate like crazy. And the road hasn't changed. Um, the population's dropped off, but they just absolutely fly. They will hit 65, 70 miles an hour on this little bitty road. Um, and I just, I'm not comfortable traveling at those speeds on these tight roads. This horse trailer, uh, I got behind at the traffic light actually. Uh, the horses inside were absolutely freaking out at the traffic light. The whole truck was shaking. They were, they were bucking and moving around so much. Uh, I keep on, they got them calmed down. But now I finally get to open it up, get some open road out in front of me. And, um, we're going to take a left up here and uh, head towards Bishop's Cleave. I think we're actually getting into it right now. But, uh, you know, just the... Everything is so lush and so green and so vibrant this time of year. It's similar to Seattle in the fact that um, there's literally growth on everything. This is the center of Bishop's Cleave. There's a fish and chips place right on the corner there, my left. 
get through this roundabout. And uh, continue on through the center of town. This is the relatively newer section of Bishop's Cleave. But I'm going to take a left up here that will take us past some uh, dwellings that have probably been there for at least a few hundred years. I really was looking to live up here potentially uh, initially, but I knew I wasn't going to have transportation, so I wanted to be more centrally located. Here's some older homes. I love the ivy on this place. A lot of uh, bed and breakfasts up here and uh, small taverns. One thing it's taken a lot of getting used to is how small the roads are. Um, I'm not used to having oncoming traffic be so close to me. Um, here's some of the locals that I found. I've seen more sheep than any other livestock in this, this section of England. Um, not sure why that is, but definitely more prevalent than, uh, than pigs or cows or or anything else. A lot of this year's lambs. Now it's time to leave. I'm gonna head back to my flat. Obviously, uh, I've condensed this quite a bit. We are taking a left back on St. George's Road. And there is St. George's Gate. So we're back home. Home sweet home. A little one bedroom flat. Nice and cozy. Nice and cozy. Have a great week everybody. Bye.